Okay, so at this point, we have a cube that we've turned into a really long plane. Uh, we have Robot Cow who runs and we and moves right and left. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have um, avocados and oil cans. And I've gone ahead and added in a few more avocados and oil cans. Um, all the all my avocados and oil cans are in folders over in the hierarchy to make that a little bit more tidy. And um, my avocados and oil cans are made from prefabs, uh, which I created based on items I had downloaded from the asset store. And my prefabs folder is here with my prefabs in it. So that's all organized. Now, um, the next thing that we want to do, because we already have our pickup script with um, that when we hit a game object that's tagged as add point, um, we're going to add a point, but we do not yet have a way of seeing that we have gained another point. So what we need to do now is we need to uh, create a canvas. And what a canvas does is it creates kind of the window that your players are looking through. So we're going to add a canvas to, to create that window. Um, making windows today. So if you go to game object and um, uh, UI for user interface, uh, then you can choose canvas. And when you choose canvas, uh, you get one of these. And it looks like that. It's got the, these, it's got these um, things going on with it. And you can always uh, collapse these if you find that you don't want to look at them. Uh, and then once you add your canvas, what you actually want to do is you want to add a, um, some text to your canvas. So this canvas is currently just sitting there as this empty square, empty window. And so we're going to go ahead and we are going to um, add text. So when we add text to the canvas, so I've got the canvas clicked and I can, oopsies, I've got it clicked once and I can right click and I can, um, I can add text, uh, which is also in the UI. So UI text. And now we can see that we've got text right here. Uh, now, when we add text, uh, we get uh, a whole bunch of choices and first off we're looking at our scene here and we can't see any of this which is not really helpful to us. If you click on game you're in game view and now at first you might think oh she has no text but look it's there it's hard to see but there it is so right now it says new text and that text is written right here so I can change this to score zero and now it says score zero. It actually it says soccer zero. Let's say score instead. Score zero. Okay, so now with score with it saying score zero, that's cool. But this is really not practical placement. Uh, so let's say we want to put it up over here. We can actually change the location of our um, text. And for that, we go to this top one, rect transform. And with text selected. Uh, we click on this box here, which allows us to place. So you can see currently it's centered in the middle, okay? And centered in the center. Uh, so if we click that, we get our other choices. And what we want it to be is we want it to be top right, okay? So for top right, um, you can see up here it says shift also set pivot, alt also set position. And we want to set... Um, uh, pivot and position. So we're going to hold down shift and alt and then we're going to click this. And what that does is it puts our score text way up here, um, which is a little bit too high because it's too close to the edge. And so what we're going to do is um, play around with that a little bit. So up here you've got your pause x, pause y, pause z. Now pause y is up and down in this world. <laughs> Depending on your world, it is different things. Um, so if we say minus 10, it's going to take away 10. If we say minus 20, it's going to move it. And it moves it, like if you say 200, you're still only coming down to here. These are pixels, right? 
Um, so I'm going to leave it at minus 10 because I like it there. And then I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to come down here and we have all these choices. And the first one I want to well, uh, show you is, well, let's just do it this way first. So let's say we decide to make it 26. Okay, that's cool. Um, probably big enough, right? I think. Um, what if we say 36? Okay, look at this. It disappeared. So this is a huge frustration and you're like, I have a text I don't have and it's torture. But there's a thing down here, this overflow. Um, for some reason, if it's set to wrap, it will disappear. But if you click to overflow, oh, it still disappeared. But then look at the vertical overflow, overflow, and it comes back. So these overflows, if you set them to overflow, the score will be there. No, I think it's something to do with maybe there's a box for the text, and if it's bigger than that, it goes invisible. Anyway, make it overflow. You'll be able to see your score. You can change your font. Um, you can change it to bold. Um, and there you go. You've got your score text there. So um, that's all fine, except that our score text is currently called text, and we really want a better name than that because we might later add other text, and this one is score text, so let's call it score text, just like that. So now it's named, and so we have a canvas, and on that canvas we have a score text. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually assign that text to a... Um, uh, to change when things happen with our player running over our uh, gain points and lose points objects. So we're going to go into the pickup script and there are two changes. One is we're going to add another library. Uh, no, three changes. We're going to add another library. We're going to add the variable um, uh, for the score. And we are going to add a command to change the score uh, down here. So I've got this all on my clipboard. I'm a shy code typer. <laughs> okay, so here we're adding the UI, the using Un Unity UI, and we know we need to use that anytime we add a UI object. And you may remember that we were adding UI, that Canvas came under the UI category. Here is the new variable we created. It's a public variable, which means it's going to show up in the inspector. It's text, which is what we created. So we're not dropping the canvas in there. We're dropping this specific score text. And here we have called it score text with a lowercase s. Um, so then uh, down here in the uh, add point, um, uh, set of commands. We've added a command for um, uh, to change the score text dot text. So we said the variable up here, um, and I'll show you how to assign the text to that variable. So we've made this variable here, and we're referring to it, and we're saying change it to score colon space, right? So it's going to type that in. That's cool. And um, then coin counter, and this is the variable we created previously, coin counter, and you can see coin counter here. So if hit game object, add point, destroy the game object, yes, we like that. Um, and also coin counter plus plus, which means they're going to get, uh, there, there's going to be um, one added to the score. So coin counter to string means add, what, add that point. Um, and to whatever the pre-existing points are. So that means take the, the complete new number of score text, of the score. So um, we have the same code written down here. Um, score text dot text equals score plus coin counter to string. So, but in this case, if we've hit a lose point, we've said minus minus. So the score will go down by one. So that's the code updated, and I'm just going to Command S to save it, and then go back to our game screen. So our pickup script has been updated. Um, we have our canvas. We've named this score text. Um, but what we haven't done is in our character, which is where we have the pickup script, and the pickup script is the script that we just modified. It is also the script that we wrote 
um, about picking up objects and picking up points. Um, and we have this variable we created called score text, but there's no text there. So what do you think we have to put there? You're right, score text. So if we grab our score text and drop it here, now it has a text. So what I'm thinking is this game should now work, is what I think. So let's try it. So we'll click play. There he goes. Oh, lo oh, lost a point. Yeah, gained a point, gained a point, gained a point, gain, gain, lost gain. Score five. Uh, so now you have a game with objects to gather and the score that changes when you gather the objects.